Well, I guess that isn't much of a story if everything goes smoothly. After taking a night to rest in a hotel in Wyoming, we started the day bright and early bound for Denver, Colorado. We should have known by how the day started that things were going to go downhill fast. You see, we didn't have a firm grasp of the topography or relative location of things in the state, so we had to throw all of our plans in the garbage. We misunderstood the time at which breakfast was served, so when we examined the continental breakfast, we were met with quite the gourmet feast. Although that wasn't going to stop me from at least having some coffee, so I poured a cup and when I tried to make cereal, I poured my cereal into my coffee. We decided to cut our losses and stop our food along the route. When we were in the Teton, some show told us that Denver was similar to Asheville, North Carolina, which made me excited as I love Asheville. What a big fat freaking lie that was, as Denver was not at all like Asheville. We spent all of about 10 minutes in there before leaving for Boulder. We found a Chick-fil-A. This is the first Chick-fil-A we've had since we, since before we left. It's been like two weeks without it. But it's okay. I'm not addicted to it or anything, but also their sweet tea. They don't know how to make sweet tea. That's why I got water. No one knows how to make sweet tea outside of the south. That's why I'm getting a milkshake. We stayed in Denver for a solid 10 minutes. We drove around and decided we didn't want to, we were not ready to be reacclimated to the city. We missed being back in the sticks. We promptly turned around and left. <laughs> we are here out in Boulder, about to go to the Flatirons. And then after the Flatirons, we're going to Rocky Mountain National Park. We got to find us a campsite for tonight. Don't know where we're going to stay. But we'll figure it out. So at this point in our journey, our money was starting to become tight, which meant we couldn't even afford to pay to park to see the flat irons. So unfortunately, we had to skip them entirely. From there, it was on to Rocky Mountain National Park, which was to be our big destination for Colorado. And we drove into the park searching for a place to camp for the night, as one campsite might possibly have had some vacancy. However, we didn't get very far into the park before our second bout of bad luck hit us. What the? They just started hailing. Yeah, so it's, it's like a severe thunderstorm in Rocky Mountain National Park. We went about a mile in, uh, and now we are turning around and promptly leaving. Yeah. Because that was, um, that was marble size hail. At yep. least marble to like the big marbles, you know? You should have flashed them. Uh, probably. I'll figure it out. So I guess we're just gonna start heading toward Kansas City. After checking the radar, it seemed like it was gonna be nasty all day, so that meant we couldn't wait around hoping for dry conditions. Bound for Kansas, the lack of structure of where we were gonna sleep each night and the stress of trying to cram entire parks into one day started to get to us, compounded by the anxiety over the hail damaging my truck. Ah! Oh no! No! Oh! Oh god! Close it, I don't wanna look at it! I do! No! Oh my god. Dude, it's like snowing! Oh my god. Ooh. Mm. Oh frick! Hurry up! This is awful! <laughs> Let's go! Hit the gas! What are we doing? Do you want your cars to get damaged? Holy crap. We spent the rest of the day driving and continued on into the night, down the interstate with nothing but the occasional wind turbine lights to illuminate our path. But before we crossed into Kansas, Colorado gave us one last spectacle. So we just saw the Milky Way. <laughs> oh, wow, I mean, yeah, that was, that was stunning. I am absolutely in awe, speechless even. Uh, we were driving down the road and, and Caleb looked out and he said, we can see the Milky Way with all these lights. And he was right. I mean, you could look, I looked out and um, you could kind of fix because we saw it faintly in the park, but there is really like nothing out here. And sure enough, I looked up and I could see it streaking across the sky. We motored on to an Econo Lodge where perhaps our worst bout of bad luck slapped me right across the face. So we're here at Nakano Lodge. Um, we escaped the hailstorm. We're finally in Kansas. Um, after seeing the marvels of the universe, the Milky Way, I have come to discover someone. I have my credit, my debit card has been somehow the number has been charged back in Georgia, um, and has now put my balance. I, I have negative money in my account, so I had to call the fraud services and basically. I don't have any money anymore. My my bank account has just been shut off. 
for temporarily because of the fraud. Um, so I've been having to deal with that. Caleb's gonna have to pay for the rest of the trip until I pay him back. So we're gonna, and but he doesn't really have enough money to do that because we calculated this. We're both gonna have them. So we're gonna go to, <laughs> we're gonna. <laughs> We're going to Walmart. He's going to get cash back from his Walmart credit card so we can get home. And now I've got to call in the morning and deal with all this so I don't have to... Oh, that, that's good. That doesn't work. So my credit card is being weird, so I, don't, I can't really use that. Yeah, I've got 15 bucks in cash plus whatever Caleb's going to get. And all the money in his account. As the trip goes on and we get closer to home, it just becomes more and more difficult. So, just see what happens in the morning and see what happens in the morning we did. After clearing up my banking issues, Caleb and I ventured to Wally World to desperately try to obtain some money. We were planning on getting 300 bucks as we thought that should do it, but it turns out the card has a limit of $100 per short time period, so that's all we got back. Card declined. After bad luck instance number three, we ventured down the interstate through the flat wonderland that is Kansas. How great was Kansas? Well, I think this video from Rest Stop says it all. We're in Kansas. Oh, you were vlogging? I was just gonna get some beer all these rocks. That's it. After the nauseating drive, we arrived at our cheapest and sketchiest campsite of our journey. We are out here in a little bit outside of Topeka, Kansas. We are in a primitive campground um, and it's free. <laughs> That's why we're here. How's, how's the, you know, there, sweetheart? Nice. There you go. We're gonna just chill. We've been really stressed the past few days. So today we're basically just taking a decomposition day. Uh, we drove about six hours because we kind of split it last night where we ended up staying at that uh, the hotel. So we're out here just, just gonna chill today. We're gonna make some dinner, sit around. I don't think we're gonna do fire. We might though. Gonna get the Eno out and just, just hang out. So, And then tomorrow <laughs> we're going to, uh, where our destination is outside of Memphis. So yeah should be fun. The next morning, we departed for St. Louis to see the nation's smallest national park, which is more like a national yard if you ask me, Gateway Arch National Park. Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting. You didn't even. I've been waiting like eight hours to say that. The entire time, when, as soon as we entered the state, I was like, whenever we get out, I'm gonna say it. This is cool. We're in St. Louis. We just went to the courthouse right there. And right across the street is the arch, which we're gonna go up. I still don't think this is a national park. I think it's like a monument. I, I think it's a little bit ridiculous to call this a park, to be completely honest. But I'm not denying the importance of it. I'm just saying this is like a this is a yard. All right, this is a national monument and yard. Let me talk about this park for a minute. It, fe it doesn't feel like it feels like a museum, like a large museum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's really annoying, like. We can't just pay entry and then do everything. It's like, here's the museum, you gotta pay, here's the church, you gotta pay a dollar to get in the church. You gotta pay to get in this, you gotta pay to get in that. It's like, it feels like, it doesn't, like, I feel like a park you pay, a national park, you pay to get in and you do everything. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. It's still really pretty, I'm loving it. I like it a lot. The arch is crazy. Uh, I, I love the history about it. The church is beautiful. We're about to see the Mississippi River. bunch of scratches in it. So going up to the top of the arch was too expensive both monetarily and temporally as the tours were scheduled and the next one wasn't for another hour. We had to skip yet another thing and as the day progressed our bad luck finally culminated when we went to go get gas in Missouri. This day keeps getting better and better. We're like three hours out of Memphis and the car won't start. It'll be fine. He's just impatient. We'll see. What happened, Caleb? <laughs> Travis decided he wanted to take a rest. That's right, he was tired. <laughs> He's putting he, his foot down. Yeah. <laughs> he said he, he said, no more. <laughs> I'm getting a ride out of here That's too, right. boys. That's right. So yeah, um, truck broke down. <laughs> the alternator, we think it is, is broken. <coughs> uh, we jumped it off three times, and each time it just died within a few seconds. So yeah, we're waiting on the tow truck, gonna go sit in Dairy Queen, 
get some ice cream to make ourselves feel better. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where we're gonna stay. Uh, There's a hotel right there. Falls, Dude, that is not gonna be cheap. Look at oh, that. Oh yeah, no. He literally said that it was rich people just put a bunch of hotels around it. Great. So yeah, um, I don't know what's gonna happen. Who knows? Uh, my <laughs> someone stole my my, my <laughs> someone stole all of my money. You're out of money. We couldn't get any Walmart cash back at Walmart. The truck's broken down. <laughs> it's it all we, uh, it's all falling apart. We booked the hotel yeah. and can't get our money back. We now. booked the hotel, can't get the money back. The first tow truck did not work on my truck for whatever reason, so we had to wait until a flatbed truck arrived and took the tow truck taxi to a hotel near Jackson for the night. We finally got to a hotel. Uh, it's it's a, a nice hotel though. It is a nice like hotel. A this is the really, nicest. Look at this. Yeah, we got a king. I got a king bed. Kill sleep oh, on the floor. Oh, dude, this is a nice bed. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, this is this has been a night and a half. I mean, yeah. it's an absolute freaking nightmare. So tomorrow morning we're gonna get up. I'm gonna go to the auto parts store and buy an alternator, and I'll put that in. And uh, get back on the freaking road. And we still have to go to the go. pyramid. We're at. We're not skipping the pyramid. We need it. <laughs> we need the pyramid. <laughs> freaking. Oh. Pyramid. Still have no money. Zero money. I, it's it's so bad. Yeah, we're running on fumes. And uh, physically, monetarily, mentally. And actually, uh, physically, I think we're okay. Physically, I think we're fine. Yeah, we. Uh, I'm fatter than ever. And uh, I'm not. That's not. That has nothing to do with this. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's the truth though. And here we are. <laughs> Our last day on the road. It's been fun. Has it? Hmm? Come okay. on, dude. It's been time <laughs> of our lives. Don't even. <laughs> The next morning, thanks to some emergency long-distance money transfers to Caleb from family, we were able to purchase an alternator, and with minimal tools I had on me, I'd change it in the hotel parking lot, then chase some people down to jump us off. However, that seemed to do the trick, at least for the time being. I ended up having to replace the battery when we got back, and the truck almost died on us after getting gas for the last time around 2 a.m. in Atlanta. We made it to Memphis for our very last attraction on our trip, which we refused to skip as we needed the moral boost, the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid. We made it! <laughs> the Pyramid! That's right. We weren't going to let our mechanical problems ruin our trip. The very last leg, our very last site and destination. We're here in Memphis. Kind of a pretty city. I've never been to Memphis. Very excited to go inside. So, uh, let's do that. Now, the pyramid is truly a marvel in its own right, with an entire hotel inside and an observation deck. The ponds with fish and live ducks walking around the store were very cool, however, after all we had seen on our journey, I just wasn't that impressed at the time. Also, we wanted to ride the elevator to the observation area, however, in similar fashion to our last few days, we had to skip it as we did not possess the funds required to do so. After the pyramid, we headed back home, and hours later, we finally made it. The end of our journey west. This was the first cross-country road trip I'd ever been on, much less plan and execute myself, and let me say that I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. Problems and all. I learned so much over this trip and experienced a ton of personal growth. And one thing that I learned is that you should never let uncertainty or fear prevent you from doing something you really want to do, is you can do anything if you're confident enough to try. It's a win-win. If all goes smoothly, you get a great journey, and if it goes sour, then you get a great story. I guess the one takeaway I'd like to give people from this is there is so much out there to see and explore. I believe everyone has the call to adventure within them, and acting on that call is one of the most rewarding experiences you can have. Many people today don't take the time to experience and bond with nature, and that just saddens me. There's so much they're missing. So as I've echoed before and will continue to echo on this channel, go get outdoors. You just might want to stay there. Thank you guys so much for watching my Journey West series, and although the journey is over, I hope you'll stick around for the many more adventures I want to document on this channel. Be sure to subscribe to see more content like this, and as always, I'll see you next time.